Recently, I have created this cool infographics for one of my video, which is 28% of the total, 80 to 97%. Hello everyone, my name is Naresh and today we are going to create this cool infographics which can be used for any documentary or explainer video and it is easy to create. So let's start. So I have this asset that I am going to use paper as a background. You can download everything from the link in the description below and you can practice along. Let's start by creating new composition 9020 by 1080. Let's call it master and rest of the settings would be same. 10 seconds. All right, let's drop this paper here. Let's rotate it as it is. Let's scale it down. It's having the very large size. Press S on the keyboard for the scale. So this is good. All right, now without selecting this layer, just select this tool, ellipse tool, and make sure that the fill is done and stroke whatever the color or the you want. Click OK and for now, the value. Okay, then press Shift and draw this circle here. All right. Now we want that it is a solid and perfect circle select this shape and we can increase this pixel and we can make it a round perfect circle but remember this it should be exactly fill this otherwise then you will get confused that what is happening so let me show you exactly what will happen so I add trim path from here go to shape layer and add trim path from here then select this trim path and reduce this percentage okay now increase this pixel so you can see that it is expanding so this kind of trouble you may land up so make sure that it is perfect exactly it it, it should end here this much okay then if you want you can scale it down or you can increase the scale or you can decrease the scale all right so now let us bring it in the center of this comb using the alignment uh, now let's uh, set our percentage so it is very uh, you can select or you can set your percentage from here on the trim path so you can whatever the percentage you want you can select from here i'm selecting 28 percent now let's duplicate this layer by command or control plus d let's call this as it is let's call it as slice all right now come to base and change the color to whatever you want i'm changing to dark blue click ok okay then open this we have this uh, come to around one second add keyframe to make this end 100 and make this start as 28 percent all right so if you unhide this you can see that this is the base by all right so let's add keyframe to start and end let's move our pay head to beginning let's make zero so this is how it will be moving all right similarly for the our per pie per slice go to trim path and uh, Add keyframe to end, make it zero. Come to one second and make it 28. Select both the layer, press U to reveal the keyframe. Select all the keyframe, and then I'm using this extension of mine to set this speed. But you can see as a keyframe here, this is how it will be. All right, so this is how we have set. Okay, then to look like a paper effect, what we can do? Just add a turbulent displacement effect. Let's make it amount to 30 and size to around two. So it will have this kind of paper-like effect and you can copy it and you can paste it over. All right, then you can change this blending mode to change it to multiply and 
simple sweep. So it will have this kind of paper kind of look. Alright, now for the upper slice, press U to reveal keyframe and then we can press P for the position and we can add the keyframe and about 12 frame or so we can just take it, just move it and let us change the speed graph. Alright, so it will have this kind of so it's the keyframe and we can just line it with this. We can just little bit spread it. Alright, now we can add the text. So like text tool and we can add the text here. Change the color to dark blue. We can also font. I'm keeping the text here. Now let us use another free plugin to separate this each word from this uh, sentence. Decompose text. Select words. Decom. And delete this extra text. So we have now this text. Select it. Press P for the position. Add keyframe to it. Move to 12 frame or so. And change the position to here all right select all the keyframe and change this speed graph to whatever you like so this is uh, here ending this is how come and at this time it should come so let's select it move your playhead here at this keyframe and apply the trim all right now what we are going to do we are going to use another free plugin uh, known as the motion tool panel so using the motion tools uh, we are going to apply this value to and we are going to use this sequencing All right so this is how it is done now we can move it to here right so this is how we have animated this now you can bring about the variation like if you don't want this paper here then you can add this paper above top and you can just then you can change this color like make it normal you can change the blending mode to overlay or other and you can have this kind of texture inside the and you can change the text color to something like yellow or orange so this is how you can bring about the variation in this all right this is it see you in the next one bye bye